Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie for Cole Morgan, and this is Two Minutes of Motion. When hooking up I.O. for the first time, you'll hear terms like sourcing and sinking. And at some point, it can be like that commercial where the little boy asks the little girl, are you the opposite sex or am I? Sourcing and sinking are terms to describe whether the device is supplying the potential to the circuit or whether it is supplying the return. When connecting inputs and outputs, it is helpful to think in terms of continuity. There needs to be a source and a return to that source. If the inputs are connected to the positive side, then we say that this is sourcing, then the drive's DC return needs to be connected to the negative side. In this combination, we'd say the inputs are sourcing and the drive is sinking. If the inputs are connected to the negative side, then the drive's DC return needs to be connected to the positive side. In this situation, the inputs are sinking and the drive is sourcing. Every system wired with inputs and outputs will have a combination of sourcing and sinking. Another confusing point is that connectors X7 and X8 are not connected together internally. X7 pin 1 marked DC COM, digital common, and X8 pin 3, also marked DC COM or digital common, are not connected together. X7 can be wired opposite of X8, meaning that if X7 is sourcing, then X8 can be sinking. In this scenario, X7 pin 1 will be connected to the positive side and X8 pin 3 will be connected to the negative side. All of the inputs going into X7 will need to be connected to the negative side and all of the inputs going into X8 will need to be connected to the positive side. Remember to think in terms of continuity and take the time to draw out your connections if you're setting something up for a quick test. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I'll see you in our next segment.